Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fascinating topic for you that will transport you to the land of the rising sun. We're diving into the world of Japanese touch etiquette, where we'll unveil what's acceptable and what's forbidden. From the subtle art of bowing to the proper way of exchanging business cards, we'll explore the customs and traditions that shape interpersonal interactions in Japan. Get ready to uncover the secrets behind this intriguing aspect of Japanese culture. Stay tuned until the end for some valuable insights, and if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let's jump right in. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you're uncertain about the appropriate way to greet someone or behave in a social setting? Well, fear not, because today we are going to delve into the world of Japanese touch etiquette. Yes, you read that right, touch etiquette. In Japan, the way you touch someone or even yourself can have a significant impact on your interactions and relationships. So, let's uncover what's acceptable and what's considered forbidden in the realm of touch in Japanese culture. To fully understand the intricacies of Japanese touch etiquette, it's important to first grasp the concept of personal space. In Japan, personal space is highly valued, and boundaries are carefully respected. Unlike some other cultures where physical contact is more common, the Japanese tend to keep a certain distance between themselves and others. This concept extends to both casual and formal situations, and it's crucial to be mindful of it. When it comes to greetings, the Japanese have a variety of ways to express their hellos. A simple bow, known as ajiji, is the most common form of greeting. It can range from a slight nod of the head to a deep bend at the waist, depending on the formality of the situation. In more informal settings, a handshake, particularly with foreigners, is becoming more common. However, it's important to note that handshakes are not native to Japanese culture and are still not as widespread as in Western countries. As we delve deeper into touch etiquette, let's explore some specific scenarios and the do's and don'ts associated with them. Starting with the workplace, it's generally considered inappropriate to touch your colleagues unless there is a close personal relationship. Physical contact, such as hugging or patting someone on the back, is generally avoided. Instead, a respectful bow or a handshake is the preferred way to greet and interact with coworkers. Moving on to public spaces, such as trains or buses, it's essential to be mindful of personal space. Avoid unnecessary physical contact with others, and if the train is crowded, try to maintain a respectful distance. It's also worth noting that touching someone's belongings without permission, even by accident, is considered impolite. So, keep your hands to yourself and be aware of your surroundings. When it comes to personal relationships, the rules for touch can vary depending on the level of intimacy and familiarity. In friendships, it's generally acceptable to engage in light physical contact, such as a pat on the back or a friendly hug. However, it's always best to gauge the other person's comfort level before initiating any form of touch. In romantic relationships, physical contact is more common and can range from holding hands to kissing, but it's still important to be respectful and considerate of your partner's boundaries. Now, let's turn our attention to what is considered forbidden in Japanese touch etiquette. One of the most crucial taboos is touching someone's head, particularly adults touching a child's head. In Japanese culture, the head is considered sacred, and touching it is seen as invasive and disrespectful. So, unless you have a close personal relationship with someone, it's best to keep your hands away from their head. Another forbidden form of touch is pointing. In Japanese culture, pointing at someone or something with your finger is considered rude and impolite. Instead, it's customary to use an open hand or a nod of the head to indicate or direct attention. This cultural norm stems from the Japanese value of harmony and avoiding confrontation or embarrassment. In conclusion, understanding Japanese touch etiquette is an essential aspect of navigating social interactions in Japan. From greetings to personal relationships, being aware of the appropriate ways to touch or not touch others can greatly impact your relationships and the impression you leave on others. Remember to be respectful of personal space, avoid touching someone's head, and refrain from pointing with your finger. By following these guidelines, you'll not only show respect for Japanese culture but also enhance your social interactions and create positive connections with others.